Hey everyone, today, we've got a groundbreaking update from the world of nuclear physics that could have major implications for understanding the fundamental forces of the universe. Researchers have successfully measured the quantum structure of radium monofluoride for the first time, using ion trapping and specialized laser techniques. This new breakthrough could pave the way for exciting advancements in how we study nuclear properties, potentially helping us unlock the mysteries of matter-antimatter asymmetry. Let's dive into what this all means and why it's so important. Welcome to Trend Storm. Chapter 1. What is radium monofluoride and why does it matter? So, what exactly is radium monofluoride, and why is it making waves in the scientific community? Radium monofluoride is a radioactive molecule that contains radium, a heavy element known for its pear-shaped nucleus. Researchers are particularly interested in this shape because it makes the molecule extremely sensitive to certain nuclear properties that could reveal physics beyond the standard model, which is the current framework that explains how particles and forces interact. One of the big questions physicists are trying to answer is why there's more matter than antimatter in the universe. This imbalance shouldn't exist according to the standard model, and scientists believe that time reversal symmetry violation could be the key to solving this mystery. By studying radium monofluoride molecules, researchers hope to explore these symmetry violations in much greater detail. Chapter 2 how did they do it? For the first time ever, scientists were able to precisely measure the quantum structure of radium monofluoride using a combination of ion trapping and laser techniques. This allowed them to examine the molecule's rotational energy levels and, crucially, establish a scheme for laser cooling the radium monofluoride molecules. Laser cooling is a technique where scientists use laser light to slow down atoms and molecules, making it easier to study their behavior. The researchers' success in laser cooling radium monofluoride molecules represents a pivotal step toward trapping and studying these molecules in greater detail. This opens the door for future experiments that aim to explore nuclear electroweak properties the very forces that govern the interactions between particles inside the nucleus. Chapter 3. Why Radium Monofluoride? Radium monofluoride isn't just any molecule, it has a pear-shaped nucleus that makes it uniquely sensitive to nuclear electroweak forces and symmetry violations. Studies have shown that heavy nuclei, like those in radium, are especially suited for detecting violations of time reversal symmetry. This is critical because time reversal violation could explain why the universe is dominated by matter rather than antimatter. By investigating radium monofluoride molecules, scientists are able to push the boundaries of what we know about the fundamental forces of nature. In fact, the sensitivity of radium monofluoride to these forces could be more than five orders of magnitude greater than what we can measure with stable atoms. Chapter 4. Spectroscopic studies at CERN The research was carried out at CERN, one of the world's leading scientific research centers. Using the Collinear Resonance Ionization Spectroscopy, CRIS, experiment, the team investigated radium monofluoride at an extremely detailed level. By mapping its energy levels, they determined the exact laser cooling scheme needed to slow and trap the radium monofluoride molecules. This achievement marks a new frontier in ultra-cold molecule research. By developing these methods, scientists are not just exploring the fundamental particles and forces of nature but also advancing techniques that could be used in fields like quantum computing and material science. Chapter 5. Implications for the future What makes this discovery truly exciting is that it opens up new possibilities for studying symmetry violations and quantum systems. By laser cooling radium monofluoride molecules, 
scientists can now explore questions about the very structure of the universe, including why matter dominates antimatter. This work also ties into the cutting-edge developments happening at other facilities like CERN and the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams FRIB in the United States. These collaborations are part of a larger effort to understand the fundamental symmetries that govern our universe and could lead to revolutionary advancements in physics. This breakthrough in measuring the quantum structure of radium monofluoride is a giant leap forward in nuclear physics. By understanding the rotational energy levels and developing a laser cooling scheme for radium monofluoride, Researchers are closer than ever to unraveling the mysteries of time reversal symmetry and the matter-antimatter asymmetry of the universe. Source. U.S. Department of Energy. If you're excited about the future of this research, make sure to hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Trend Storm for more updates on cutting-edge scientific discoveries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.